And Joe Scarborough this morning on uh, Morning Joe on MSNBC, and I did not watch that. I've I've pretty much decided that I'm done uh, with uh, you know watching cable television. Or uh, yeah, I, I you know last night I just I turned it off and I said that's it. I'm not going back. And I probably won't until after the primaries are over anyway. Um, but this is uh, but but Shano tells me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was all, you know, the headline was all over the Internet. Uh, here is the clip of Joe Scarborough speaking the unspeakable truth. I was pretty astounded by this. The problem with the Republican Party over the past 30 years is they haven't, and I'll say we haven't, developed a message that appeals to the working class Americans economically uh, in a way that what how Donald Trump does. I mean, you look at the fact we talk about cutting capital gains taxes. That 10,000 people that are in the crowd cheering for Donald Trump, they are never going to get a capital gains cut because it doesn't apply. We talk about getting rid of the death tax. The death tax is not going to impact the 10,000 people in the crowd for Donald Trump. We talk about how great trade, free trade deals are. Those free trade deals never trickle down to those 10,000 people in Donald like Trump's crowd. Sanders. Guess no. what? <laughs> those, <laughs> no, no, no. It, no, but, no. no but here in, herein lies the problem right. with the Republican Party. It never never trickles down. Those people in Trump's crowds, those are all the ones that lost the jobs when the, the when they get moved to Mexico and elsewhere. The Republican donor class were the ones that got rich off of it because their capital moved overseas and they made higher profits. Yeah. And it's it's real simple. And the American people have figured that out, which is why Joe Scarborough is finally saying it out loud. Because Donald Trump has been saying it out loud for months. And Bernie Sanders has been saying it out loud for months, and, and to a certain extent, so has Hillary Clinton. But nobody else has had the courage to speak the truth. At least on the Republican side, it takes courage. On the Democratic side, it's called being a Democrat.